Hello and welcome to the spring semester premiere of Siena Saints Weekly. I'm your host, Andrew Champagne. In just a moment, we'll be joined by Athletic Marketing Manager Laura Mangus to talk about this week's annual Pink Zone game. But first, let's take a look at Siena Athletics after what was a very busy winter break. Men's basketball is 8-9 overall and 3-4 and in MAC play. Most notably, the Saints swept a three-game homestand against Fairfield, Niagara, and Ryder before losing their most recent outing at Manhattan. Siena's O.D. Anasiki leads Division I with nearly 13 rebounds per game, and he and the Saints will look to right the ship on Thursday night at Loyola before hosting Mac Power Iona at the Times Union Center on Monday night. Swimming and diving is just one win away from the program's single-season record. The Saints are 9-5 and five on the year and have a chance at clinching the program's second-ever 10-win season on Saturday afternoon at CW Post. And one of the biggest Siena sporting events of the year is coming up this Friday night at the Arc, as Siena women's basketball takes on Fairfield in the 12th annual Pink Zone game. Joining me now is Siena Athletic Marketing Manager Laura Mangus. Laura, welcome to the show. Hi, Andrew. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. You were a former player for the Saints, scoring almost 1,800 points under your alter ego, Laura Menti. What does it mean to you to work so close to the program that you participated in for four years? Um, it means a lot to me. I mean, it's really something special to kind of see all the hard work that goes behind the scenes that, as a player, you know, you know it's there, but you don't really fully see it until you actually do it. So um, that's something that's you know special to kind of get both sides of things. There's one constant in all these pictures we're seeing now from your playing days, and I have to ask, Laura, what's with the headband? <laughs> the headband is something I you know, wore as a kid, and it was kind of a superstitious thing that you know, I just had to wear it every game. All joking aside now, this Friday night is one of the most important nights on the athletic calendar as the Saints take the floor with the pink jerseys while raising money for a fantastic cause. Laura, tell us about it. Um, the pink, pink Zone game is a very special game. It's a game to help raise awareness for breast cancer. Um, we partner up with Capital Region Action Against Breast Cancer, which is a nonprofit um, locally in this area. Um, and, you know, it's about coming together, showing support for, you know, the breast cancer survivors and raising awareness and while also trying to raise funds for it. Besides the game and a pregame reception, what should those coming out to the ARC on Friday night expect? Um, they should expect a lot, of, uh, a lot of people wearing pink, so wear your pink. Um, you know, what we have going on is we have vendors that will be there. And funny you say that, Andrew. I brought some things. Um, I'm just that good at setting up my guests. <laughs> it's an acquired skill. Yeah. Um, we'll be selling different things. One of the things that we will be selling is this uh, white hat, um, whatever we have left over from what we're selling this week. It's uh, Sienna S in pink, and we have the ribbon on the back. Very cool. Um, which the hats are $20. We also have scarves that we'll be selling um, that are... Uh, designed by breast cancer survivors um, that are silk scarves that for students are $5 and for the general public they're $10. And I'm seeing on the side there, I think I'm seeing a quote of, of some sort there. Uh, what's the story behind that? Um, the story behind it is, you know, it's, uh, they were designed by breast cancer survivors. So each scarf has a different message on it um, and also different colors as well. But, you know, they're meaningful scarves for, uh, you know, especially people who are touched by breast cancer. Very cool. Last year, this event raised over $20,000 despite a blizzard in the upstate New York area. This year, what's the goal? Um, this year, our goal is to raise $25,000. The weather looks good, so um, that's promising. Um, you know, obviously, the, the most support we can get coming to the game, um, um, just showing wearing pink and showing support for breast cancer survivors and coming together, because this is something that, you know, truly hits a lot of people um, that, uh, you know, just coming out showing your support. We'll have different ways where you can donate or you know spend money on something that where the proceeds will be going to Capital Region Action Against Breast Cancer. And how can people find out more information? Uh, people can find out more information by going to SiennaSaints.com backslash Pink Zone. Um, anything on this event will be posted there. They can also visit uh, Facebook and they can go to the Siena Women's Basketball Facebook page to get more informa information. They can also, if they want, to send out to their friends to invite them to come along to help try to get more people. Um, and they can also call me uh, if they have any questions. Laura, I know you're very busy this week. Thanks very much for your time, and best of luck on Friday night. Thanks, Andrew. Again, the website for more information on the Pink Zone event is siennasaints.com backslash Pink Zone. The game against Fairfield tips off at 7 p.m., but as you'll see in this package, we'll close the show with today. It's about much more than just what happens on the court. I had a vision. This was an opportunity for us to come together and it was a win-win situation for all of us.
said this is something the players will never forget, but it's also something that the survivors will remember for the rest of their life. They go over the top for Gang. Nice job tipping it away by Mullings. Santana on traffic. Muscles it up and hits. What a tremendous play by Christina Santana. I don't know how she got that shot off. The Pink Zone game means so much to me. Playing in the game when we step on the court, we realize it's not about us, it's about these amazing women and the survivors. Especially because my grandmother, she had breast cancer, so when we get on the court, we just feel a sense of power and feel so excited for these survivors. Pink Zone is for a great cause, and I think uh, if we can beat, beat cancer and, and, and any, any amount of money that we can raise to do that is a, a terrific accomplishment. The Pink Zone event is obviously a great event. Um, it's, tough. it's an opportunity for our Siena fans to come out and uh, not only support our women's basketball team, uh, but support a great cause and our breast cancer research. To me, it's, it's a team effort, not only with our women's basketball team, but a community event that uh, provides so much for so many people that deserve it.